WTOL is finding out more tonight about the inner workings of gangs here in the Glass City. Local leaders across the city, including Mayor Wade Kapsikavich, say gang violence is the leading cause of homicide here. Michael Sandlin is live with more on an interview with the sergeant on Toledo Police's gang task force. And Michael, you say he plainly laid out the details of these groups. So what can you tell us? Well, Mel, as you're about to hear, the officer I talked to told me the names of these gangs, their number one source of income, and even explained how their culture is changing. He tells me these criminals have less respect for life and are quicker to pull the trigger than ever before. Sergeant Mel Statura with TPD's gang task force says Toledo is home to anywhere between 30 and 37 gangs, but some stand above the others as the most powerful in the city. Major gangs, I mean, we, you know, we do have Bloods, Crips, uh, you know, gangster disciples, also known as the Folks. Um, we have those. Sergeant Satura says even with shootouts and arrests lowering their numbers, there are anywhere from 100 to 200 strongly active members of these groups at any given time. Satura says these groups make their money in two major ways. We know a lot of these gangs proliferate through sales of drugs, which, I, I mean, that, that's the fast, easy money. But the bigger thing is to get guns, because that's the big problem right now with the city of Toledo is youth getting guns and they get them quickly. Statura says they'll get them by any means necessary, including breaking into people's homes and businesses to steal them, such as the Towers Armory burglary in 2019. He says right now there are more high-powered weapons on the streets than ever, and the people he sees using them are younger than ever. Um, six kids had seven guns. Uh, two, one was an AK uh, pistol, one was an AK rifle, one was an SKS, uh, and then two AR-15s. So out of seven guns, six of them were high-powered rifles, and these were carried by 12-year-olds. And this new breed of heat-packing babies aren't the same kind of gangsters Sergeant Satura was working with a decade ago. He says even the older generation of hardened criminals have noticed a dangerous change in the culture, and it's making life cheap. Before there was respect. If you were an older gang member, you were respected. That, that's what it was, just a little bit of respect. Now, there's no respect. You can be a gang member that's, you know, 14, 15, and you're going to make a name for yourself because you're shooting this, this known person. Statura says this new kind of criminal doesn't care who they shoot at and will even shoot into crowds or groups, and more innocent victims are getting hit. Statura says if you begin to see a fight break out in your neighborhood and you're concerned it could be gang activity, you should call the police before it's too late. Sturgeon Satura says you can simply reach them by calling 911. And this is just the beginning of our gang task force coverage. I'll be back on Monday to discuss the territory of these gangs as we unveil WTOL 11's official gang territory map. Reporting in studio tonight, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.